Today we're at Snap Studios in North London. We're surrounded by absolutely wonderful classic gear. We've got ISA 110 racks from the original Metropolis board. We've got a beautiful Neve console behind us. API 312. We've got an original Fairchild 670 in the corner and one of a pair of Telefunken V72s. We're going to have a instrumentalist coming down to play us some material so that we can um, AB the focus right liquid channels against some of this classic gear. My name is Marco Pasquarello and I manage uh, the studio that we're in, Snap Studios in North London. I'm also the house engineer here and I'm here today because I want to know how good the liquid channel is and I want to hear the results of it compared to the original gear. Yeah, so speaking we're going to be using to send the tone down to line up all the mic pre's. Your guy, what do you do? I'm a freelance uh, engineer, producer. Um, I used to work at Abbey Road, was there for 10 years. Um, similarly, I'm very interested. Um, you kindly lent me a liquid channel recently and I, uh, I really enjoyed using it as an insert. I just thought one day when I was using it, it'd be really nice to see how, how they compared to each other in a proper situation where, because you never get time to do that sort of thing. Mm. It's like really A, B things. And I just thought it'd be really nice to do, to see exactly how, how they sound up against the original stuff. I'm Ian, I uh, did all of the sampling for all the liquid products for Focusrite. I um, was heavily involved in actually then taking those samples and making them into emulations that could be loaded into the liquid channel and liquid mix and liquid, other liquid products. What we're going to do is we're recording, we're splitting you playing a guitar in real time, splitting it to uh, these five liquid channels and also to five of the pieces of gear that they're meant to be emulating. We're doing which one we like the best. Okay. And obviously to buy this kind of plethora of gear, mm. you're talking a hell of a lot of money. Mm -hmm. um, and I guess the objective is to see if you can get usable results from something like this. quite hard to tell the difference a lot of the time. I thought, I thought it, it was really good and sometimes it was indistinguishable from you know the original. Do you know what they are? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. So the uh, results were very very interesting. It was actually the liquid channel for pretty much everything. Wow. wow. Yeah. You just kept switching every time. It was obviously I was switching pre's to make it uh, as random as possible. Sure. And you kept following the liquid channel wow. every time. Yeah. For the pluck guitar, the Neve, you picked, you were undecided, you picked the liquid channel. For the V72, uh, both the liquid channel. No way. Yeah. Wow. Focus right, both the liquid channel. <laughs> API, both the liquid channel. Unbelievable, I just couldn't believe it. I couldn't keep a straight face. Wow. Well, yeah. you did. <laughs> you did a good job. I was hiding under the computer. <laughs> For you guys, as sort of freelance engineers, where would a liquid channel be useful? I would definitely use it um, at home, um, for, for recording at home. But I think doing this, I would, I, I would, I would have it around. If, you know, I mean, obviously a, a place like Snap has got sort of everything you want really um, but if you were in a slightly lower lower range studio I would definitely not be scared about using it definitely I'm surprised at the quality of it because I have to admit I did have my reservations that I thought the quality wouldn't be you know up to a professional standard but I think everything I've heard from it sounds good I wouldn't need to use it in a room like this that's the thing but I wouldn't hesitate to use it in a room if it was there that's another thing and also it would be great at home but I've got to say I mean there was nothing that I've heard that was not usable as a kind of workhorse 
compressor with a few different options, a few different sort of flavours, and I think it does a very good job, yeah. Mm. I was I, I'm actually like quite impressed by it, yeah. I think it's it seems like a good unit, to be honest. And you can't borrow mine. <laughs> <All right. laughs>